everybody. Today, I'm at the grocery store. Have you ever been to the grocery store with your mom or dad? Well, today, I'm going to visit the grocery store and I'm going to read you stories about the grocery store. Mom, let's go. They're very tasty. Let's see what else is inside. Market to Market, written by Anne Miranda, illustrated by Janet Stevens. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig, home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a red hen, Home again, uh-oh, that pig left the pen. Can you find the pig? To market, to market, to buy a plump goose. Home again, uh-oh, the hen's on the loose. To market, to market, to buy a live trout. Home again, uh-oh, the goose was let out. To market, to market, to buy a spring lamb. Home again, uh-oh, away the trout swam. Can you see the trout's tail? To market, to market for one milking cow. Home again. Uh-oh, where's that lamb now? To market, to market to buy a white duck. Now the cow disappeared and I'm out of luck. To market, to market for one stubborn goat. The duck flew the coop and the goat ate my coat. This is the last straw. I'm a shopping disgrace. Everything's running all over the place. To 
The pigs in the kitchen, the lambs on the bed, the cows on the couch, there's a duck on my head. The hens in the cupboard, the goose is there too, the goat's in the closet, it's chewing my shoe. The trout's in the bathtub, this place is a zoo. I'm hungry, I'm cranky, now what will I do? To market, to market, to buy some potatoes, celery, beets, and some ripe red tomatoes. Some pea pods and peppers and garlic and spice. A round head of cabbage, a sack of brown rice, add okra and onions and one carrot bunch. Home again, home again. Hot soup for lunch. The end. on the list written and illustrated by Kristen Darbyshire no more cereal mom says put it on the list but we always forget and we run out of Orange juice, shampoo, baby carrots, zucchini, bananas, baby food, dad shaving cream, paper towels, tea bags, yogurt, lettuce, tissues, printer paper, tomatoes, soap, bread, tuna fish, broccoli, light bulbs, ice cream, and everything else. On Monday, we had pancakes, but no syrup. More ketchup? On Tuesday, we had toothbrushes, no toothpaste. Mom, chickens don't have teeth. 
on Wednesday, we had cookies, no milk, glass of water. On Thursday, mom took a trip to the store. Veggies, meat, worms, fruits, cereal, sundries, bird seed, seafood, deli, bakery, juice, dairy, and the checkout line. She got toothpaste, syrup, zucchini, and milk, but no cereal. Cereal, I just went to the store. On Friday, we had lima beans, no napkins. I don't know where to hide them. Then Saturday was the day that mom flipped out. It was boo-boo, no band-aid, wet baby, no diaper, macaroni, no cheese, and peanut butter, no jelly. I don't even want to talk about the toilet paper. Mom? Who's ready for peanut butter and pickled grub on macaroni casserole? So Sunday was the day we made some new plans. To start with, no more pickled grub. We use the grocery list all the time. The list says syrup, cereal, napkins, band-aids, diapers, cheese, toilet paper, jelly, pony, We help with shopping, fruits, and in case of emergency, we call for pizza. The end.
story is called The Runaway Shopping Cart. The Runaway Shopping Cart, written by Kathy Long, illustrated by Susan Estelle Quas. Caleb and his mother were doing their grocery shopping as they did every Friday. Caleb rode in the shopping cart as he always did. They bought milk, bread, eggs, cereal, juice, meat, and vegetables, as they always did. They paid as they always did. Here's their money. The grocery boy bagged the groceries and took them to the car as he always did. But when they got to the car, something different happened. Caleb's mother said, I forgot ice cream. I'll run in and get it. I'll be right back. Just then, the grocery boy's nose began to tickle and twitch. Then he sneezed, achoo, a great big sneeze. His head flew down, his hands flew up. The cart began to roll. It rolled across the parking lot and out to the street. Caleb waved as the cart picked up speed. As he was about to hit a pole, he leaned to miss it and the cart turned. The eggs flew out, but Caleb stayed in. Split, splat. The eggs hit the pavement. Slippity slide, the grocery boy hit the gooey eggs. But the cart rolled on, into the street and down the hill, leaving the grocery boy behind. Caleb was laughing as he rolled past a little old man, a little old woman, and their little old dog out in their yard. Hi there, he yelled and waved. The dog saw the shopping cart she saw the grocery boy chasing the cart. It looked like such fun that she took off after them. Woof, said the dog. Fifi, wait, the little old woman yelled. Then she started chasing after Fifi, who was chasing after the grocery boy, who was chasing after the runaway shopping cart where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. The little old man looked up and saw his wife take off after their dog. Mildred, whatever are you doing? He yelled. Then he dashed after his wife, who was dashing after Fifi, who was dashing after the grocery boy, who was dashing after the runaway shopping cart where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. A car came to a screeching stop as the shopping cart zipped through a stop sign. There's the stop sign. The driver jumped out. He shook his fist as the cart sped by. He looks angry. Then he bolted after the old man who was bolting after the old woman, who was bolting after Fifi, who was bolting after the grocery boy, who was bolting after the runaway shopping cart where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. The cart rolled past the school lickety split. Hey, Nathan, Caleb yelled to his big brother, who was outside at recess. Guys, it's my kid brother. We've got to save him, let's go. Nathan yelled. So all the children zoomed after the driver who was zooming after the old man, who was zooming after the old woman, 
who was zooming after Fifi, who was zooming after the grocery boy, who was zooming after the runaway shopping cart where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. The teacher was looking out the window and saw her class chasing the runaway cart. Stop, class. Come back right now, she yelled. But they kept on running. So she ran after them. The principal looked out and saw his teacher zipping after the class who was zipping after the driver, who was zipping after the old man, who was zipping after the old woman, who was zipping after Fifi, who was zipping after the grocery boy, who was zipping after the runaway cart, where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. The principal started to run too. Faster and faster the cart rolled, faster and faster everyone ran, up and down hills, around and through the streets, until finally the cart rolled into the parking lot, hit the curb with a thud, and stopped. Then up came the principal, who was huffing behind the teacher, who was puffing behind her class, who was huffing behind the driver, who was puffing behind the old man, who was huffing behind the whole old woman, who was puffing behind Fifi, who was huffing behind the grocery boy, who had grabbed the runaway shopping cart where Caleb sat with his mother's groceries. It's the blue van over there, Caleb's mother said to the grocery boy. Then she looked around. I didn't know Nathan's class was visiting the grocery store today. Then she looked at Caleb. He said, Mom, we need more eggs. Then he smiled. The end. Do you use paper or plastic bags when you go to the store? Thanks for shopping with me and listening to my stories. I hope to see you next time. Here's a clue where I'll be.